What we send boys, welcome back to Tour de France 2020, stage number 13 of our Tour de France playthrough with Jackson Gaffardo, stage 15, Chateau de Guillon, and Puy Marie Cantal, 199, no, 189 kilometers today. A mountain stage with a lot of hills and climbs along the way in the massive central. Uh, as we approach the Alps, we're not exactly there, but we still have a mountain stage, which uh, we'll see its finish in the Puy Marie. A very tough climb with a, a very steep gradient above grade, uh, average I think like like 15 no sorry average is like 10 to 11 something like that I can't remember why uh, or can't remember what actually no, it's, it's literally written it's it's literally 11 percent there we go uh, but yeah it's gonna be a very interesting stage I don't think Richie will be in the breakaway today uh, however Giulio Ciccone will Right, Chicone will be uh, the first Italian rider will manage today, will most likely manage Vincent Zanibili later on. Hopefully to uh, go and uh, either get a win or get some, uh, some time on the other GC leaders. The Tour de France is kind of settled right now with the gaps, but everything could, get, could, could change. So we need to be careful about everything, but Julio Ticone is now going to be in the break. He's being followed by Julien Sim, Ilno Zakaren, Nelson Oliveira, Rémi Cavagnad, Enric Gasparotto, Daniel Navarro, uh, Nicolas Roche, Carl Frédéric Hagen. It is a good breakaway today in this mountain stage in the Massif Central. Not a, a sight that you often see. On the Tour de France, you, you would usually more uh, well, you usually see a hilly stage, but not really a, a mountain one. Also, Julien Simon, if you're going 100, you better we'll be quicker. No more because to attack. I'm literally quicker than you, and I'm pacing what 50, 60. All right, uh, we're on in the Col de Cessa. We're going to take a look at the breakaway. We have Julien Chicone, Daniel Navarro, Nelson Rivera, Nicolas Roche, Ignor Zakarin, Carl Frederick Hagen, Rui Costa, Adam Yates, Rigoberto Uran, Enrico Gasparotto. Mikel Lander, okay, some big names are here, some, <laughs> some really big names are here, I didn't expect that, I didn't expect to, to see Lander, to see Uran, uh, what if I drop back a bit, could I see anyone else, let's take a look, uh, we're gonna have the likes of Ben Hamans, Julien Simon, Quentin Paché, Rémi Cavagna, and who is the entity that Enrico Gasparotto as I'm pushing Cavagna off track, sorry Rémi. Alright, is anyone going to fight for the mountain classification there? I mean, Landa's got 3 points. No, wait, no, that's, that's points. Uh, Costa's got 12 him. points. He's the best climber in the breakaway. Let's see if he tries something. Okay, and they are indeed going for a move. Uh, we're trying to stay in the wheel of Carl Frederick Hagen, but we are losing energy doing so. And we are going to lose. Uh, fam, how can they attack for so long? I don't understand that yet. Right, you can get the points at this climb, that's quite cool. Uh, I just wanted to see if I could fight with well the Yates, the Uran, the, uh, the Lander and shit. Uh, turns out I can, turns out I can. So if, if this breakaway should potentially go further, maybe we'd have a chance. Final 30 kilometers of this race. Uh, we are in the Côte d'Anglar. We are getting dropped by the breakaway because they keep on attacking and I can't be asked to follow. Um, Peloton is 117 down. Wow, the Peloton well came placed. back very quickly actually. The other riders are dropped. Uh, you know what? I'm mean, 116. I might drop to Luchikone. I might just drop him. I don't think there's any point staying in the breakaway. Uh, we'll just go in the Peloton and help like the Belkin or or Vincent Sonibeli. Shall, uh, shall he need some help? Why is Belkin dropped again? Like, fam, can you stop being dropped? You were dropped already in the last episode. But why? Why do you keep on getting dropped? Fucking right to catch the group, lad. In the meantime, 320 is the breakaway. Uh, is the lead for the breakaway. The uh, we are uh, at the it's back of this group as well. That's not good. But it needs to come back. Things might get a bit clearer right now. All right, let's try to navigate. There's Richard Carapaz here. The rhythm is quite steep. When the Col de Neron. 3.7 kilometers at a 10% gradient, Jesus lord. We've been blocked by Jonathan Castroviero, thank you Jonathan. It's very cool from you. Buchmann is dead. The front of the race is two kilometers okay. from the summit. How's, uh, how's Bowker? He's good. There we go. Okay, I'll We're gonna get blocked you. by Jack Egg. yep, thank you. Can we stop getting blocked by everyone? 
navigate through Galopin, Croiva, I care. How is the gap increasing? Like, I swear the rhythm is quite high here. Oh, we're back at the front of the group. It is still Astana pacing. We've got Alejandro Valverde next to us, wearing the number one jersey for some odd reason. Because uh, I don't remember movie star winning anything recently, but it's it's fine. We'll move past that. Uh, Nicolas Roche, Ben Hamansi, Hagen and Yates are in the first group. Uran got dropped. Uran Landa got dropped. That's tragic. That's quite bad. Wow. Gap is now five minutes. Every time I try to like stop my rhythm in the peloton, and nobody paces. And I get that because I'm yellow jersey. Yellow jersey. It does make sense, but it's not fun because I, I, I'm never going to be able to win now. I'm genuinely never going to be able to win. From Kudkowski, everyone's there. Uh, can I get Molema to protect or to get protected by Richie Port? And she can to protect me. Bauke is not having a great day here today. Okay, I'm coming to protect you. That's really what I mean. I'd love to get Chikone right now. I'd love it because three kilometers and it's the finishing that's line. typically where the I would need a teammate right now fighting it out. to protect me. But I guess they just don't want to. Thank you, Julio. There he is. Let's go, Julio. The first riders are onto the steepest. Mm. Right, use your gel. And Richie, use your gel as well. The slope. Nice. It won't get any easier from here. We need to hold on okay, until like the first step, uh, like the um, as soon as the slope gets like, red, we'll we'll go and make a move. No, Julio's doing well. Julio's doing very well. Three kilometers. We're gonna use some sort of a gel, just a, a bit of it. That's the red one. Fuck. It's fine. We'll use the blue one. There we go. Nice. How is Bauke doing? I can see him in the middle of the peloton, so he's not dropped. That's uh, that's a new one for him. Okay, nice. The first, like the 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 big big slopes are coming out really soon. Like now, we're gonna increase the rhythm again with Vincenzo Nibali, making sure that we can uh, do what it takes. Julio, use your red gel now. Okay, I'll consume Why a feed. Vincenzo, why did you stop? For fuck's sake. Uh, okay, that might be a bit too, too, too aggressive as a rhythm right now. There's only one hold kilometer up. to go hold for up the one second. 1.7 counts we'll on the to summit though. It with a sprint. We should be able to work with that. The breakaway is one kilometer from the finishing line. Now right, we're going to increase our rhythm again. Ala Philippe in the wheel. I can see Boko Malama, I can see uh, Bernal to the right of us. What uh, someone that can also see something is Adam Yates seeing the finish line. It's going to be him against Nicolas Roche in the final 700 meters. I'm guessing the win is going to be for a uh, rider of the British Isles. And it's going to be Adam Yates. Adam Yates takes the win in uh, the Pumari ahead of Nicolas Roche, Ben Hermans. Uh, and then, then it's not sure. Then things could change. We've dropped everyone except Valverde. Let's increase the rhythm a bit again. Because we have what it takes. Well, we, we have energy. We can easily, easily increase the rhythm. And we're going to attack, actually. We're going to overtake Carl Frederick Hagen. Alright, just lick all move and that. Riders, one minute 30 on the lick all move. Vincenzo coming back on Ben Hermans. Pretty sure I can now sprint. Reduce speed a bit. Otherwise, you'll hit the wall. And... It's going to be third place for Vincenzo Nibali, ahead of, uh, I think, Fulsang in fourth. Uh, let's take control of Bauke Molema. I don't know, I mean, the man is dead, but... I mean, let's try to give him some sort of closure. See if he can finish ahead of Julien Lafilippe. It's not a, a good day for, uh, for Bauke today. He's going to lose a lot. He's going to lose a lot of time today, the, uh, the Dutchman coming home in what will be 15th, uh, no, 16th and 17th with Richie Port just aside, uh, or just to his side. Yeah, that's not great for him. He hasn't had the greatest of Tour de France right now. His GC is very much compromised. But Adam Yates, 
is going to get at least a stage win today in the Pimari. Congratulations to uh, the uh, the British rider who takes the job. But uh, I mean, you can do whatever you want as long as this man stays in the yellow jersey of uh, Tour de France lead uh, Vincent Sinebili once again. Uh, getting time on every single of his opponents, except Nicolas Roche and Adam Yates, but they're not exactly opponents, so we move. Uh, Points-wise, it is still Matteo Trentin. Mountain-wise, it's still Richie Port. Bernal is still here. I mean, we need some 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 changes somewhere. I don't know where, though, because I don't want to change anything in the yellow jersey. Okay. Vincenzo comes home in third place, 40 seconds behind Adam Yates. Fulsang loses 8 seconds, Roglic loses 25 seconds. The battle between uh, Fulsang and Roglic for the top 2, well for the second place actually, is going to be extremely tasty now. Uh, um, then we put Ben Alla 110, uh, the main question is Molima 248, he loses 2 minutes today. Yeah. Uh, how many points were there in the mounting classification? 32. Adam Yates, I need to make sure that he doesn't like get too many points, because he might go in more breakaways now. But the thing is, uh, Richie lost a lot of time as well. So that's quite good. GC wise, Bernal jumps Bauke Molima. What? Hold up, what? Can I get the stage classification back? Please. Or is my game frozen? Looks like my game's frozen. Where the fuck is Thibaut Pinot? Thibaut lost 5 minutes! Because I, I lost 3 minutes with Richie Port and I gained the position. Okay. That is not something I saw coming. I didn't see Richie being here. I mean, he's 6th he's place, 40 minutes down, granted, yeah. 6 points, 8, Rem Covenport, Alaphilippe, Garin Thomas, Yates, Dumoulin losing 3 places, Sharkman, Carapace, Guita, Barley, Quintana, Yates jumping into the top 20. Okay. Uh, mountain wise, Richie stays in the lead, still 62 points clear of Higuita. Uh, Twenty still 8 points behind Trentin. Bernal is still the best young rider, and we're still the best team with Tracks of Fredo. However, this is where this stage and this episode is going to uh, finish. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. It would really, really mean a lot to me. If you're new around here, then please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I shall catch you in the very near future, but my name has been Blacko, it has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys, and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm leading, but them other man need feeding, I don't want to go bombi, them I don't know what I do when I go from feeling, leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bear, snapping with a phone and dab, I'll stop a man with a duster, put him in a drip and sip blockbuster.